Hello, my name is Mike Ryan. The name of the show is Jury Duty, You Make a Difference on BNN, the show that should answer all your questions about the one day, one trial jury system. Our guests today are Luis Cardoso and Elizabeth Marini. Welcome, thank you very much thank you. for being on the show. And today we're gonna to talk about what, uh, what happens when you're picked and you serve on a jury trial. And Luis uh, is an associate court officer at the Hall of Justice out in Springfield. He's also uh, active with the National Association of Government Employees, has been a truck driver for Bernardino's Bakery in Chicopee, and uh, has also worked in a uh, remodeling company as well. Uh, Elizabeth is a lifelong resident of Hyde Park, and she attended uh, Mount Ida College and the University of uh, Massachusetts in Boston. She worked at the Norfolk Probate and Family Court for eight years, mm -hmm. and since 2006 is the executive assistant at the Massachusetts Sentencing Commission. So I'd like to talk about your experience serving on a jury. I mean, how many times have you gone to jury duty? Four, uh, four times. Four times. Elizabeth? Uh, three. Three times. And when you got the jury summons, when you served, uh, how did you respond? Did you fill out the postcard or did you go online? Uh, filled out the postcard and mailed it in. Fill out the postcard? Mm -hmm. And did you postpone your service? One time I did. One time. What about yourself? Yep. So these <laughs> people, you know, uh, should realize that, uh, you know, they can postpone once without having to give us a reason. They have to, up to a whole year uh, to do the jury duty. So, and did you call the jury information line at the court that you went to? No, I did not. You just showed up? I showed up. Wow. Oh, you're lucky. Elizabeth, did you I call? I just showed up. You just showed up, too? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. You're very, very fortunate. You filled out the confidential juror questionnaire? Yes, the night before. You did bring that. Okay. No, I did you bring brought that. that. Yeah, the night before. Yeah, the night before. <laughs> okay, and, and how did you how did you dress for jury duty? I was casual. 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 Okay, yourself. Casual. Yeah, good. We say business casual. Some people casual. take it to extremes, but uh, hopefully everybody was appropriately uh, dressed. What did you uh, bring with you to jury duty? Did you bring reading material? Did you bring Dunkin' Donuts? Actually, I uh, I brought a. Um, a puzzle. Oh, my phone. A puzzle. Okay, that's all right. Yeah. In my phone. That's, In your phone. That was okay. it. Liz? Um, I think I brought a couple of magazines, maybe the newspaper. That was able. Yeah. And when you, you went to Holyoke District Court, correct? Yes, sir. And you went to Roxbury? Roxbury, BMC, BMC. and then um, Suffolk Superior. For a grand jury. Grand jury. And um, when you went there, did you see the juror orientation movie? And then did a judge come in and welcome the jurors? Yes, we, uh, they, they made us watch the movie, then shortly after the judge did come out and thanked everybody for being there. Same yeah, thing, same your, thing, yeah. same thing in your case. So, did you, so while you wait, did you have to wait long to go to the courtroom? Uh, we waited probably a couple hours. A couple hours. That. And the puzzle kept you entertained? Yeah, I think it was first it was my phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know, jurors can bring in all their uh, gadgets, all their electronic yeah. devices, but it's when they go into the courtroom, you know, they have to silence all their devices. We have posters as well. So did you have to wait long before you? Um, I think with the BMC, you waited like an hour, but Grand Jury, they brought you right up. Now, did you always want to sit on a jury trial? At the beginning? You could be honest. I, 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 yes and no, yeah. because of working for the, uh, the courts, I thought it would have been a little different. Till I sat on it, I kind of, change my mind I was like yeah this is actually pretty cool okay what about yourself Liz? I always wanted to be on one really <laughs> and, yeah. and you were the four person as yeah, well right yeah that was exciting yeah. so before the trial start started did the trial judge give any special instructions to your jury yes they uh, they gave us um, uh, they broke down the law to us sure. on the charges that the people were uh, um, being charged with, and also the same thing with me, I was the foreman, so he kind of pulled me aside and says, this is what you need to do, and this is what we expect, you know, from the jury. So it was really nice. Okay, what about yourself? <clears throat> um, I think the BMC, they did the same thing. They explained the law, what the, <clears throat> what the case was about, um, if you knew anybody on the other side, on either side, actually. Grand jury, I think, was a little different. Um, they went over like how long you were going to be there for, you know, did anybody have any issues with, you know, taking the three months? Did they have to call the employers? Um, just general kind of questions until you got picked. And then it went into more depth. Now, were you, when you got into the jury box, were you nervous? Yes. You didn't know I, what to expect, I, I, did you? I, I did not know, no. 
because same thing they asked me like if I knew anybody and I have to be honest and I said yes <laughs> I know the attorneys and but that, so, it, that didn't get it you. went away it went away <laughs> it went away and were you nervous when you went, <laughs> went into, the, into the jury box for the first time uh, yeah I, yeah because you're <laughs> responsible for making the right decision so yeah it big was responsibility kinda, yeah, big yeah. responsibility yeah. and what kind of case was was yours you don't have to give specific details but yeah. what was it about uh, it was a criminal case on uh, identity theft and oh real on identity theft and uh, stolen property from the store the stolen property and <coughs> was yours criminal as well uh, criminal uh, drunk driving and then the grand jury was just a, a little of everything uh, yeah a little of everything and how long how long did your uh, trial last I was there for three days three days which yeah. is long for district court yep and what about yourself <coughs> uh, the drunk driving was two days two days and grand jury of it course was three months was three months so when uh, when the jury went to deliberate, did your jury rush to judgment or did they take its time and review all the evidence? Uh, no, actually there was, uh, we reviewed all the uh, uh, evidence uh, considering that there were, you know, some people were like, well, everything was said in the courtroom, we heard everything, but we, we reviewed it, it went uh, really well. How about yourself? <laughs> Same, everybody kind of really took time, it wasn't rushed. <clears throat> We all thought out loud, and anybody any questions? So no dissension at all. Yeah. No, <laughs> no riotous scenes in the deliberation room. No. No. no we kept everybody calm. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about the people you served with? Do you remember anything about them? I mean, did they have anxiety about serving on the jury? Uh, a couple of people did because they they get uh, they got worried that if they rec if the people recognize them out in the street, sure. and I said, no, you don't have to worry about that because once we leave. We're just here for the day, and that's it. So they were a little, a little nervous, but kind of why everything went away. How about yourself, any of you, uh, fellow jurors? Yeah, I don't remember the uh, BMC jurors. The grand jury, yes, because you were there for three months. You got to know them very well, where they lived, what they did for a living. So that was great. I liked that. What was your What was your verdict? <laughs> Guilty. And, and, and were you there? Was the sentencing? Did that occur right after the verdict, or did that occur at a different time? Uh, it, we, the verdict came back on the third day, uh, and the sentencing, we weren't there for that. You weren't there for the sentencing. No. So was it, was it guilty, and then on your d DUI? Uh, it was it not guilty. So not guilty. Yep. And um, you, know, you worked on uh, a grand jury. Now, mm -hmm. grand jury was not open to the public, correct? No. And you were there for how many days a week for three months? Um, I think it was three days a week for three months, and then after the three months, we still had some open cases that they still wanted to, us to hear, so we went back for like another week after the three months. And what was it like being on the grand jury, because it's a lot different than being on a, a trial okay. jury, because it's close to the public, but it sort of mimics what goes on during a trial, correct? Yeah. Um, basically, like the, um, the prosecutors would bring all the evidence, it was all recorded, uh, we got to hear if they had, you know, what evidence they were bringing for the case, um, and we had to decide whether or not they had enough evidence to go forward with the case. So it ran from like um, drug arrests to assault and battery. Um, we did have a couple of murder cases. Um, I think there were two rape cases, so it was really eye-opening, actually. So a, lo a lot different than you had expected yeah. when you went into grand jury? Yeah, a lot of embezzlement, too. I was really, you know, shocked at the embezzlements, how people just, you know, randomly take money from companies, hospitals. It was just really wild, actually. And sort of when you're in grand jury, you sort of work under the auspices of the district attorney, correct? Yes, the district attorney. They were wonderful, actually. Whereas, you know, when you work on, work on, a, on a trial jury, you're under the auspices of the trial judge, correct? Correct. Now, you meet a lot of potential jurors during the course of your day out at the Hall of Justice. What, what are some of the reactions when people come into the front door at uh, Springfield? Uh, the, the reaction is that they don't want to be there a lot of the times, and you kind of sympathize with them, and you kind of understand why, but my job being there is also to kind of bring them back, make them a little bit more at ease, and when they walk in the building, they're actually, hey, you know what? It was actually okay. It wasn't too bad. You so know, you get some reaction post 
once they finish their service, did they actually come down and tell you about it? Yeah, so, some people do. If they have, if I happen to see them, exactly. they say, "I was like, you know what? This wasn't actually too bad." You know, and I thought it was, it was a little harder. Like, but they do, they do give back some feedback at times. That's great. And the jury pool is up on what floor? It's up in the fourth floor. Up on the fourth floor, no. overlooking the Connecticut River, correct? Yes, our uh, lovely river. <laughs> Now, once your verdicts came in, did the trial judge meet with your jury? Uh, they, uh, when we were in the jury room, the judge did come out and uh, just, uh, just did a little bit of uh, talking and explaining. And again, he thanked us because he let go with the rest and how he had to keep us there. But uh, that was just really it, what I remember. Yeah, and what about in your, your <coughs> DUI trial? Did they... um, yes, after we gave the verdict, he thanked us for our service and we left the courtroom. That was nice. So would you recommend sitting on a jury to your friends and family? Definitely. Definitely? Definitely I would. Yeah, it it's, uh, it's an experience and we need people to sit on it. And about, about yourself? <laughs> yeah, because it's your community. You know, you want your, you know, a safe community. I think the only way to keep it safe is to be active and, you know, it's not really that bad. Not painstaking to go to jury duty. <laughs> <laughs> now you've you you've gone four times. You said you've been yes. called four times. I've gone four times. And have you gone um, twice? I've been called three just times. Just three times. Mm -hmm. Would there be anything in your experience would you recommend that could be improved upon in going to jury, especially working, meeting jurors every day? Uh, no, I think the system is pretty pretty well uh, lined up. So I, I don't think that. I mean, I'm pretty sure somebody else might come up with an idea, but I don't. I couldn't have come up with any at the top of my head. Uh, what, what about yourself? Um, no, I actually like it. I like that you can do online. Now you can, you know, instead of filling out the form and mailing it back, you can just go right online. I, you know, I think it's, it's a well-constructed department. Now, you work for the Mass Sentencing Commission. What exactly is that? Um, let's see, the Mass Sentence Commission. We now have branched off and we're also the Department of Research and Planning within the trial court. Um, the Mass Sentencing Commission is a, um, oh God, they're gonna kill me. Um, <laughs> we have these guidelines, established guidelines. That they're not mandatory guidelines used by the judges, but they are kind of, a lot of the probation officers use them when um, the judge wants to sentence somebody. So it's like a grid that they go on and, um, oh God, it's just so hard to explain in my own words. <laughs> but it, but it's, 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 hey, the fact that you did jury duty and you work for the Sentencing Commission, I, I would think you would have found it interesting. Yes, to see how, but you know what, what after you do the, the um, jury duty, you're not there for the sentencing, yeah, so true. you really never know, you know how many years or days or months that the um, defendant receives, so. Um, I would have liked to have gone back to see, see what the to follow was. through with some of the grand jury. Like, did you ever try to find out what the sentence was to the case? Actually, no. No, okay. no. But out of, my curiosity kind of got me, sure. but I kind of just let it go. You let it go. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's okay. It's not me on there. Now, you were both four, four persons on the yeah. jury. What was, what's the responsibility of a four, foreman or uh, a four person? My responsibility was to uh, keep the notes together and read out to the charges to uh, the judge and the clerks and everybody that was in the courtroom. So you were sort of the chairman of the jury once they deliberated, correct? Yes, sir. So you're the one who said, okay, we're gonna talk about, here's the evidence that's presented, what's credible and what is not? Yes. And you did that as, as well? Yeah. And if there were any questions, if the juries had any questions, we would present them to the court officer and he would go up and give them to the judge. Did you have any questions? Um, I think we had a bunch of questions with the grand jury when we wanted to hear more or we needed another question answered by one of the witnesses. We, you know, they'd ask me to go ask the court officer to bring him in and get the, um, you know, the DA to come back in just so we could ask those questions. Did you have any questions when you were on your, on your jury that you had to go, go to a court officer and ask to clarify on a question? Actually, no. Uh, it was, it was actually pretty, uh, Pretty simple. Pretty clear cut. Pretty, yeah. Pretty, it's clear, cut. pretty clear cut. Now, <laughs> jurors are not only randomly selected; they're randomly assigned. So you went to Holyoke, which isn't quite close to your to your home, correct? That's ten minutes away. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. And wasn't too much of a hardship for you. And, no. Uh, oh. Some of our counties, you know, some people drive. 
20, 30, 40, 50 miles to their court location, and that's done, you know, just to, to preserve the objectivity, you know, when people come into jury, rather than everybody in the local vicinity visiting that court, and they might know something about the cases, and they might know something about the, uh, the people. So how do you compare grand jury with trial jury? Did you, um, did you like one better than the other, or are they both, both good experiences? I enjoyed grand jury, I think, a lot better because you were there for a longer time. You got to um, get to know the fellow jurors, and it was very eye-opening. Like Some of the stuff I didn't even know went on <laughs> in my own neighborhood, so I found that very like um, eye-opening. I'm more aware, shall I say, now when I'm driving around in my car, I'm walking. I'm more aware and conscious of what actually is going on. Wow, that's, that's incredible. So once you, um, and it, once you finished your jury service, did you say, I want to do it again? That day? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Did you just say, I can't, I can't wait till I get my next jury summons? Uh, what's that, every two, three years that it comes at, out? At three at the most. Three yeah, years. Three. So you would you'd be ready for your next case? Of course. Maybe I'll... go for a longer case. Probably, <laughs> if, if there is one. If there is one. What about yourself, Liz, now that yeah, you've, done sure. it, you've done it twice? Yeah, I would like it again. It's always new cases. <laughs> so that's great. So you both liked it, and you say you would, if you get called again, if someone asked you to say, how was your jury experience? Fantastic. And would you do it again? I would, absolutely. And what about yourself, Louise? It was a great experience. I would definitely do it again. You'd definitely do it again. Well, we've run out of time here on uh, Jury Duty Make a Difference on BNN. Just remember, if you have any questions regarding your jury service, you can always contact the Office of Jury Commissioner online at majury.gov or call us toll-free at 1-800-THE-JURY. That's 1-800-843-5879. Just remember, you do make a difference. Please serve when called. It's important to all of us. Thank you, Louise. Thank you. And thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. And thank you at home. It's critical for our criminal justice system. It's critical for everyone to realize that this is one of the few opportunities that we have to exercise one of the constitutional rights granted to us by our Constitution. Other than voting, serving on jury duty has to be one of the most empowering experiences that any one of us can experience. There's also that participatory feeling you get by contributing to you know, the justice system in the US. I, you get to see it from the very beginning, not until the end, but close to it. So that, that's really important. You get to see one of the important parts of the government functioning. In here in America, if you're a citizen, you're gonna go on jury duty. It's like, it's a fulfillment. It actually makes me feel proud to, to, to be able to contribute in this way. And it doesn't take much time. I've just always kind of been intrigued by it and, you know, this is my way of, you know, doing a small part to, you know, make sure that the system works right. I think it's the right process and, and I'm happy to actually to play a role in it. I've been called for jury service three times and I have served three times. It is an extraordinary experience and I recommend it to everyone. If I had to do it again, I'd do it again in a second. It was really worth it. It was very interesting. I really enjoyed it. From what I've seen, the system works and I would do it again if asked. I would absolutely do it again. I will definitely serve again if I'm asked to. I would do it again. I would do it again, no doubt about it. <laughs>